All right, in this video, we'll do a quick overview of opencaching.com. This is Garmin's uh, geocaching listing service. So this is a, a free alternative to what GroundSpeak is doing. So when you first go to the, uh, to the site here, uh, you're presented by uh, a quick search screen, and this is uh, geocodes uh, to your location. So that's pretty neat. We can do a search for that, but we can also uh, learn about uh, geocaching for newbies, and we can also log a cache if we've already found some. We also notice that we can import our existing hides and finds. So if you're a GroundSpeak user, you can probably run a couple pocket queries. If you're a premium user, to get the GPX files and, and bulk load them in. Now let's take a quick look at the geocaching guide. Geocaching guide, it goes through uh, geocaching, the activity, uh, what is open caching, the mascot, uh, what GPS devices are compatible. Basically any recent GPS that can handle GPX files uh, will be able to, uh, to work which covers most of the Garmin, recent Garmin models and a few of the more recent Magellan models. Uh, and also uh, some rules and etiquette, very similar to what GroundSpeak is listed. There's a few uh, word changes, but um, it's uh, more uh, on the uh, side of uh, placing safe caches. Uh, and the other thing of, of note here is the rating system, which is something new. And let's take a look at that. Here you get your different uh, your rating symbol here, and you get three ratings. First thing is the terrain, so you can set up your terrain and you can see uh, the different uh, labeling for that. You also have size, which is regular size, but they included the nano size. And third uh, option is the uh, difficulty, and you have a little bit more uh, of a description there. Now, when you rate uh, your cache with all these three ratings, you end up with the fourth one called the awesomeness. And that gives an overall rating based on those three ratings. Now, the good thing about this, and I'll show you in a bit, is that when you log a cache, users can log, uh, adjust their user ratings. So, with that in mind, let's go in and log in. So, if you are a current my Garmin user. You can use uh, the account password for that. Uh, if not, you can create an account. So I'll, uh, I am a, a Garmin user, so I shall log in with my user details. And you can change your uh, username in the profile afterwards. Uh, it doesn't like spaces in the username, so you got to use a dash or an underscore. So let's go to uh, find find some geocaches and the, we're presented with the big map and we're centered on our location does a pretty good job overall I've tried this at work and at home and uh, it was working pretty good so you can see we have uh, four geocaches in our map you can see we have sent directly to GPS download as GPX file right here we also got four four geocaches in our view so we can take a look at one here like that so there's our screen and we have all the the details right away and uh, let's say we wanna choose another one here choose one uh, and, and you can see we're getting a little bit to Nova Scotia here and the cool thing about this is as you zoom out you can see more of the uh, of the cache listings and from this view, we got 385. The great thing about this, we can download to GPX, send directly to GPS. Uh, if you do that, click and say yes. The you will download everything. Allows you so this eliminates uh, kind of the pocket queries a little bit. You can fine tune your uh, your ratings here, so you can search for a certain caches so you want a little bit moderate easy terrain you want regular size canisters you know you want it maybe a little bit more difficult that way and right now you only have traditional multi puzzle caches and they've added this since the launch I found so you have that 
and uh, again you can see that the responses it filters the list so that's pretty neat so let's go and log uh, a cache here so uh, let's do this one and see if we we can see it here ah, there it is so let's go to the cache listing for this one so here's the cache you get the description there's got the map there's no activity let's log so here's our log page here again we get a different uh, type of view and we have our date we have our options here I found this couldn't find this just leave in a comment I'll just leave a comment here because I, I am the cache owner so I don't need to log this fine but um, here you go you can type type in whatever for your log now we can rate this experience what we can do is we can rate it we can add what we think are more appropriate uh, ratings you know so it was actually a, a larger container and also as for awesomeness you know it's pretty sweet and if you want to you can uh, mark the cache as needs some uh, attention from the owner or your maintenance hit submit there you go and we hit submit and there we go and you can see that I've already logged another cache here and uh, if we take a look on our profile page so this is what uh, your profile page looks like have all of them I've hidden number of caches and I commented on two caches and that's it that's pretty much it there's really not much more to this it's pretty simple if you want to hide a geocache we can go here and uh, the form is uh, very simple much more simple than you would see on ground speak um, basically you read the guidelines you do have permission from the land order torch they make a really big emphasis on that cache name the type again traditional multi puzzle status of the uh, of the cache and the positioning the checkbox to see if the cache has a chirp or this cache exists on another website so for example if this cache is on uh, geocaching.com all you have to do is enter the GC waypoint name now what will that do is that will replace your GC uh, prefix and replace it with the open cache prefix which is OX and that's anyway I think that's a good uh, idea that allows you not to have any conflicting IDs so all you, you can just go by prefix so if you're using other listing sites you can do that for a multi if you're doing a multi you just simply click add another coordinate set and you're just adding adding coordinates simple as that and then once you hit next you'll do the uh, the rating system so let's just do uh, let's put this in draft mode Let's click on next. Oh, there we go. We gotta do this. We'll call it test. And here we have our rating system. We can just simply slide what we think, what our cache is. We can do next. And then here we can enter the uh the descriptions, the hint, the description, and any tag. So instead of the attributes, um, we can do we can add other tags. So we can call it. So we can see we have some other tags that have been entered right now. So you know this is a parking cache. Uh, it's in the city, and I don't know some other attribute. Uh, let's see if there's anything called winter. Mm, yeah, should be available in the winter. And once you're done with that, you can hit submit, and the cache is listed. There's no reviewer process from that. I'm not going to hit submit because this is just a a test one here. But that's pretty much the uh, the process to to hide a cache or to add a listing to it, and uh, it's a little bit more easier than the ground speak method. So anyway, so that's uh, that's basically it. Quick overview, open caching, and I'm sure this thing's going to change a lot by the time I post this because uh, a lot of stuff changed, and they'll be adding, tweaking. I'm sure, and that's it.